Should we do it? Should we do it? I think we should do it. Woohoohoo! Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go after uh, the faraway coal mine, do a little bit of exploring, and try and get some sulfur uh, set up. Whether we get all of that done in this episode remains to be seen, but as you can see, I've been a very busy old guy here in the base. Uh, so, yeah, I have finished building the factory structure itself. Uh, we got walls in place, we got windows in place. I completely redid all the power. Um, so most of the power in the building is now coming off of wall sockets and uh, not so, you know, so we're going to have a bunch of ungainly power poles uh, all the way around. I have reworked some of the, the factories, especially the high output ones, to use a poor man's smart splitter so that some of the half of the ore goes into a box and half of it goes into the awesome sink. Um, kind of tidied things up down below. Um, under the uh, floor here. There's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> under the floor here. Um, and yeah, I just, I've spent a lot of, a lot of time um, off camera just doing all this stuff. So yeah, there's lots of stuff going on down there, but it's all pretty much for the most part, nice and neat level um, with a couple of exceptions. Everything's at nice or uh, 90 degree angles. And yeah, it's looking good down there. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. What else have we done here? Um, up on the top here, we have, uh, you know, I have the roof in place and we have some stairs at uh, different inter intervals to get up on the top. And uh, I thought about maybe putting the space needle up here and I still might, but I, I haven't at present. So basically the space needle is just where it is and I kind of built the roof around it with some rails, okay? Um, let's see, what else did we done? We did a little bit of stuff out here. Uh, just kind of tidying things up and working on access. So I built the walkway going this direction. I removed the, uh, the ugly foundations that I had down there and kind of cleaned up some stuff here using the stacking conveyors. Over here we've got, uh, I redid the power for this miner coming off of the line down there. And um, we've got a stairway down here, so we can get down here much more easily. And another stairway and ramp down to our quartz uh, miners. And so, yeah, just been a busy guy. Um, you know, one thing I don't think I've actually mentioned to you guys, you might be wondering why I'm not <clears throat> participating in the Christmas event. Um, and the reason for that is is not because I don't like Christmas. I actually love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday of the year, but... Um, satisfactory, and, and the further I get into Satisfactory, really requires a lot of my brain power <laughs> to think about everything. And I just, I, I don't think, I don't want to deal with the extra distraction, I guess, of all the, figuring out all the Christmas stuff and adding that into the mix. Um, so that's really the main reason uh, why I'm, <clears throat> you know, I'm not doing the Christmas stuff. So uh, hopefully that's not too disappointing to you guys, but I, I want to focus on, on the game and, you know, use all of my brain power such as it is to, <laughs> to try and do things as you know as right as i possibly can um within reason of course so okay i don't think we did anything extra down here this is all still set up the way it was in the last episode but again the main main things are we got the walls the windows up the roof up and redid uh the power in the entire uh, factory here so i'm pretty happy with the way things currently are now we are going to get um, we're going to fairly soon, we're going to get a, um, a smart splitter. Um, and when that happens, in fact, you know what we ought to do? What is the holdup on our Caterium research? I can't remember what it was. So let's go. Oh, there's our map. We got the map. The map has been unlocked. Cool. Uh, okay. So what is this? This is radar technology. And this is radio signal scanning. Not exactly sure what that stuff does, but we can't research it yet anyways because we're going to need uh, the larger or the, the heavy-duty frame thingamadoodles and uh, the motor. So we're going to have to wait till we get steel production going to finish those. But let's go back to Caterium for a second. Um, we need these AI limiters to make 
the smart splitters. Oh, no, actually, we don't. We can make... Well, no, we do, because we have to make the AI limiters. Also, um, I've heard that the AI limiters are really good pieces to feed into um, the awesome sync because you get a lot of points for them. And so that's something else I'm going to be looking into, you know, setting up. Uh, we can also get Mark II power poles, which allows us to have, I believe, up to six connections instead of four. So that's going to be good. Power switches. Um, and, yeah, other stuff. But uh, I want to get the smart splitters. Uh, but to do that, we need the AI. Okay, so... We have all of this stuff. Let's go grab 50 copper sheets. Um, or we'll grab 200. And then what was the other thing we needed? Oh, the criteria or the quick wire. So let's go grab some quick wire. Oh, you know what? I don't have. I, I need to set up a splitting mechanism for that too, so we save some of it. But I think I have some extra quick wire uh, just stored somewhere. Um, well, not in there. What about in here? Yeah, we have some quick wire stored here. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's go over here and go back to Caterium and research AI limiters. That only takes three seconds. Excellent. Okay. Um, now, we're going to need to make 10 AI limiters in order to make then the smart or to research the smart splitter um can i make those in here the ai limiters i can and they just require copper and more quick wire copper sheeting and more quick wire okay how many did it say we needed for that uh caterium we need 10 okay yeah let's make 10 ai limiters and then i probably will set up a production line uh for these Oh, uh, we're going to run out of quick wire, though, aren't we? Yeah, we're out of quick wire. Okay, so what we're going to do then is... Let's go over here real quick. I'm going to put a a poor man's uh, smart splitter on here. Uh, let's just do it right now. There we go. Okay, poor man's smart splitter. Um, it's poor man's because it really isn't a smart splitter. It's just simply splitting it in half, and we're storing half and feeding half into the awesome sink. Okay, so we're going to have to wait on that until we get some more quick wire going. Okay, what we want to do is we want to make sure we have everything we need to set down a miner at that far coal deposit and build a road back. So let me get everything uh, put together for that and then when we're ready to go i'll bring you back and we'll head on out all right guys we are ready to rock and roll -a. let's head on out first uh, our first exploration in quite some time uh, this had to be fun uh so let's go out this way i didn't uh i didn't get the sulfur hooked up yet but that shouldn't take us too long when the time comes so we'll worry about that when we get back whoops didn't mean to do that Okay, so we are heading in that general direction. Let's uh, bring it up on our scanner. And let's also look at our map, too. So, <clears throat> I guess this is just where we've, we've been so far. And I'm thinking the... Uh, you know, this round part is probably like a, a, a radius that our um, hub, I guess, can detect after we've we've been there or something. I'm not really sure exactly how this works, uh, but we'll figure it out. Very nice to have the map. And we also have the, um, you know, we got those other two things, too, that we'll have to look into the radar and, and all of that stuff. But let's head on out this way. Now, we also want to get... You know, as many power slugs as we can while we're on our journey here. Um, I didn't, I kind of have, don't have a lot of room here, but we'll do the best we can. Never, I don't know what happened to my doggo. The last time I saw him was when we were, look at this. When we were, when I was working on the coal mine, I wonder if he's still stuck down there somewhere. Can we go through, oh wow, this is cool. 
Okay. Get ready for spiders. This is really cool. Oh shit. Where'd you go? Okay. There's some uh, caterium. I'm going to leave that there, though, because we have a limited amount of space. Looks like there might be a purple slug up there. Question is, how do we get up there? That's sulfur. This is really neat. Okay, so let's go up here I don't know if those plants uh, do anything looks like we have to go around this bridge here yeah I've never been in this cave not even in uh, update 4 when I was playing All right, cool. Purple power slug. Really nice. Is that the one we saw from down below? It, yeah, it must have been. Okay, uh, let's see where else this goes. We'll draw, oh, that's the way we came up. Okay, so I think that's it. I think that's the end of the cave. <clears throat> Pretty neat, though. Can't really dive under the water. Okay, let's head on out. What? Got ourselves a purple power slug out of the deal. Can't complain about that. All right, back out into the wild. So we got to get up there. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go this way to get up there. So let's do it. Oh, hopefully we'll come across some uh, hard drive <coughs> wrecks, too. That would be nice. I kind of brought a little bit... Shit, there's four of those guys there. A little bit of everything that we might need, you know, so we can set down a crafting bench if we need to to make stuff. Um, I hear a slug. Oh, no, it's one of those artifact thingamadoodles. Okay, we don't care about those. All right, well, yeah, let's go back this way. Seems to me like this is probably the way we need to go. So we have, we have to fight four of these little bastards. Are you all going to charge me at once? Okay, we got two of them. Come get me, brah. Okay. We got a little banged up there. Let's um eat some berries, get a little health back. What were those guys guarding? Just the passageway up here, or is there something up here? So beautiful here. We'll replenish some of our berries. Oh, hard drive area. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is bauxite, so we're going to grab this. We need it later on. Okay, let's uh, go over this way. Yeah, those guys must have just been guarding the passageway up here, I'm guessing.
Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, a heat sink. All of these kind of high-end things we'll just pick up and either save or put into the circuit board uh, into the awesome sink for some pretty good points. Too bad we couldn't find some of those heavy-duty frames that we need. Okay, I don't see anything else. So let's look at this here. All right, you need 10 black powder. Man, that's the, th <laughs> that's the thing we're going to bake, too. Ah, crap. Okay, and we're also full. Doggone it. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of some things. So let's get rid of the that. I, prob I brought more concrete than I needed to, didn't I? Doggone it. All right, here. Those we can put here. That'll free up a spot. Uh, we don't need the wood and the flowers. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to be able to do this right now, but here's what we are going to do. We're going to build ourselves a equipment workshop. A workshop, or no. Yeah, equipment workshop. And we're going to make ourselves a beacon. Okay, and then we're going to put the beacon down. Um, how do we put the beacon down? Don't remember. It says it's a hands on. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I was going to say. I thought I selected, but I guess I didn't. All right, so configure this. Uh, we're going to say, here, let's see, we need 10 black powder. Okay. So what we're, we're going to do is call this, um, 10 black powder HD. Pow editor. There we go. Beacon color. Um, let's make it OG blue. There we go. Okay. So now that'll show up on our compass um, so we can find it later. Very cool. All right. We'll come back here and get that at some other point in time. We don't need the quartz. Look at this gorgeous place. Where does... Just check and see if this goes down into another. Oh wow, that's uh, that is a long way down. Okay, we're not going down that way. Lots of berries. Oh shit, we're near uranium. We just took a little radiation damage. I'm trying to get these berries in my hand. Uh, all right, yeah, we can't go that way, so let's go out into the water. So somewhere over here, there's a little uranium node, because we started taking radiation damage. Um, I'd kind of like to know exactly where it is. More than likely, it's just a a hand harvest one. Well, let's go back up here for a second and get these ready to go. Okay, so we got we started getting irradiated right around in here. Uh. We were right down here, weren't we? Was I imagining things? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're taking radiation damage. Um, It's showing... Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, so there's a uranium node. I don't know if we can harvest that and then put it in our pocket without taking more damage. But what I'm going to do is, since we already have this marker down... Um, how much space do we have? We don't have a lot of space, do we? Well, maybe what we'll do, depending on how our time goes and our route on the way back, so maybe what we'll do is we'll come back this way because, you know, we'll start, we'll build the miner in the road and we, we'll have less uh, uh, stuff in our inventory. Okay, so let's um, head off over this way. Yeah, I've never been in this area before. It's really gorgeous. <laughs> okay, we got a couple of fire-spitting bastards. We got three fire-spitting bastards over there. Uh, let's do another scan for that coal node and see how close we are to it now. Okay, it's 700 meters away. They're guarding what looks to be like maybe some of that uh, weird funky ore. Can't remember what it's called. Sam or hmm. I don't know where the baddies went, but there's one. You know, had I known we were going to need black powder, I would have actually grabbed some of that sulfur in the cave in case we come across, well, we are going to come across some coal when we get to the coal deposit. All right, what's going on up here? That looks like more bauxite, and this is obviously a crater. Relay message. Oh, it's probably an artifact. I have Give me your giblets. Okay. Yeah, there's an artifact in there. Uh, we've got quartz, we got limestone, we got Comply. more bauxite. Let's grab this. Uh, I'm not going to pick up Caterium ore because we've got that covered already. Don't need copper. Interesting place, though. I mean, it's got a little of just about everything here, it seems like. Okay, let's keep going this way. Oops. Oh, 
What is this? This is Katerium. And we got a fuzzy tailed. I knew there wasn't going to just be more than one. There never is. You guys guarding anything in particular or just hanging out and being a nuisance? There's some funky looking trees. If indeed trees are what they are. Is this my cellar? No. Another hard drive location. Get rid of the crap we don't need. Yeah, I definitely took too much stuff with me. <laughs> oh well, whatever. This is iron, right? Yeah, we don't need iron. Here's some sulfur. If we do come across some coal, which that might actually be coal over there, we could maybe grab enough to make that the tin black powder and then stop back by there on the way. Oh, no, that's not coal. It looked darker from over there. Let's go around this way. It's just a stump. Iron. That looks like Caterium. That's limestone. Okay, well, here, let's pick this up. It gave us 25 pieces. That treat us up a slot too. Okay, let's go over here and we're gonna have to find off those bumblebee thingamadoodles and see if we can get into this hard drive. We want those alternate recipes. No attacky while I'm in the water. Like playing baseball. All right, let's take a bacon plant or two. Pick up the carapaces. All right, um, let's see here. This is a computer. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to ditch some stuff. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. On the off chance that I ever come back here and have room, that's not likely, but you never know. Uh, we're going to set down a storage box. And I'm going to put some concrete in here. And a few plates in here. And maybe some of those. Uh, let's put all the... Well, we're probably going to pick more of those up as we continue fighting stuff. Um, we'll put those in there and those in there just to free us up some room here. Okay, let's eat these two to get big health. We got to get that inhaler thing made. All right, we'll pick up the computer. We're going to pick up the cable and the computer. I'm not going to pick up the wire because we just don't need to. Anything else around here that's of 
significant value. Doesn't appear so. Okay, let's see what the hard drive requires. Four encased industrial beams. Can't do that until we have steel. Okay, well, um... So, let's just do the same thing then here. We're going to set down a... Another uh, equipment workshop. Make a beacon. Nope, 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 stop. Okay, and we're going to call this beacon... Uh, what does it want again? It wants four encased industrial beams. Okay, so four encased industrial beams. HD. And we will also make this OG blue. Okay, so we'll have to come back to this one too. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's pick up the wire and put it in here. All right, let's do a scan. Got to be getting somewhat close to this coal, I would think. It's 386 meters that way. Okay, let's go that way. Radiation. Okay, we got another uranium thingamadoodle there. So I'll have to try and remember that next to both of my milestones, there's uranium close by. Alright, we've got a big meanie here. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's do it. He did. Okay, that could have gone worse. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here that needs to be exploded to get through. Let's do the coal scan again. It's 149 meters up that way. Please tell me I can get through here. Yes, I can. Okay. We better um, replenish our health. Wow, look at this place. It's like a red, a red forest. Yeah, I've never been here before. This is really neat. Lots of poison shit over there. Oh, man, are you telling me the coal node is in the poison shit? Oh, it's right there. Okay. That's right. We can work with it from a distance. Okay, so um, I'm going to run in really quick. There's two big minis over there. I want to see what... I want to actually explore this area. <laughs> That's what I want to do. This is so cool. Yeah, I have never been in this area before. More, Lots more exploration. I mean, this map is huge, you guys. We, we're going to have many exploration episodes. Many, many, many. Okay, I want to see what this is. Uh, you know, if it's a normal, a pure, impure, that sort of thing. So let's just run in really quick and look at it. It's a normal. Okay, that's all I needed to know. 
Very good. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up this way. Let's chow down on these guys. Look at that view. Wowzers. Okay, so I gotta think about this for a second. <clears throat> I think what we'll do is we're gonna make our road probably come through here and go north. And then when we get lined up with our base, then we'll turn it and head east. So cool up here. So cool. Uh, okay. If we open up our map, does it uh, tell us like the region and stuff we're in? I wonder why that's showing up. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, let's um let's go back here. I don't want to get too close to those Yahoos. Um, and we're gonna set up the miner to run east and west uh, let's make sure we're facing west that's west okay Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get out of foundation. And hold down control to get it on the universal grid. Also want it up against the miner there. Right there. Oh, I guess that's not up against it, but that's okay. That's not a problem. If we look at that from here, we can't get too much closer. Yeah, see this? Yeah, that's going to be right in the way that this big butte thingamadoodle. So I think we should turn this the other way. Have it go north-south. All right, so let's get back up here. Let's face south and walk over here. Hopefully without getting at by those things. Or in their case, uh, fireballed. Let's turn this so it's facing south. And pop it on the node. Okay, so... <laughs> this stupid thing's still out of the way. Whoa. Um, maybe it isn't. Maybe we can just barely get by it. Okay, so let's go back here. Grab a foundation. Universal grid. That's too poison. Okay, let's get into zoopity doop mode here. 
bring that to there. That up on top. And we're going to probably want to do another one on top here. Just kind of barely going into the terrain there, isn't it? Okay. That is unacceptable. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... I think we'll run the belt on the left side of the platform. Otherwise it's going to clip into this. So, oh shit. So let's put a... Uh, let's put a thing down and I'm going to guess it's probably right about there. Pretty close. Oh shit. It found me. Do I need rants? Yeah, we can actually bring that up one more notch. So currently it's got four uh, things showing. Uh, okay, so that's four, so that's one more notch there. And because this is a Mark 1 miner on a normal deposit, uh, we don't need anything more than a, a Mark 1 belt. All right, let's get back up here. Oh, we didn't make that straight. Right there. Ah, uh, shit. Cut it out. Okay, now what we're going to do is... These things are coming right for me. Such a freaking nuisance, man. Okay, so we want to go... One, two... There... I don't want to take on two big boys at the same time. Not in the mood. Not in the mood for that shit. I want you to go two this way. And then come come this way. There we go. Okay, I think we got it. Whew. Stay on this side, and is that a nice 90? You know what? It's good enough. We're going to leave it the way it is. It's just too hot here to be messing with it. So the plan here now is I'm going to run the road back to the base and then and run the conveyor back to the base, and then I'll run power back out here. Um, so I, uh, we're already like way over, but I think what I'll do is I'll cut the camera and get the road and the power run and get the coal flowing. And then I'll bring you back to see the final product before we wrap up the episode.
Look at our kick-ass factory down there. It's a beautiful thing. Love it. Okay, now at some point here, we're going to want to start ramping down. Um, I'm not entirely sure where, but I want to connect with that inlet there because we have stacking conveyors that we can bring more stuff in on. So let's go ahead and um, start ramping down and just see what happens here. Um, no, we want uh, the cool ramps, these guys. Okay, let's bring that down there and come back up this way a few blocks. Oh wow, we ran that like just perfect. Coming this direction. Okay, let's go back up a little ways. I should have made some parachutes, man. That's what I should have done. Okay, now, can we connect to that down there? Oh, this is dangerous. I'm so close to the edge. We can't quite connect it. Okay, we're going to have to go back down a little ways. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem here, and that is that it's not quite lining up like it should. So what that means is <clears throat> I'm going to have to pick up this road and redo it back this way, because I want it lined up to the base. It kind of goes back to that thing we discovered uh, several episodes ago where the universal uh, or the global grid doesn't take height into account. Um, all right, so yeah, let's uh, let's get building back the other way now. Ah, we're out of iron plates. One thing I don't like about running conveyors down a ramp like this too is they have those little bumps in them at the junction, but I don't know how to how to get rid of those. So um what we're gonna do is we're going to bring it down to here. And so let's put up a Oh, we need plates for that, too. Okay, I gotta go get some more plates. Alright, guys, while we're back at the base, um, I need to actually research the parachute. So we need tin cloth and some cables. And we need to research this, too, uh, but I'll take care of that later. So, uh, to make cloth, I believe we make that in here. Uh, yeah, fabric. And that requires biomass and micella. Uh, the mushroom stuff. So we have some micella here and we have some biomass there. And let's make 10 of these. Okay. And then we will research that. Only take three seconds. Yeah. 
Excellent. Okay, so we have five of those. All right, now for this last bit here, what we're going to do is put down a one of these. But I want it to come out to this way. And it looks like we're... Yeah, that should work. Okay, so if we attach this to here and then bring it whoop, into here. We still have our 90, looks like. It's a little hard to tell because it's also curved, but I think that's good. And then let's see if it reaches down to here. Not quite. Okay, we're going to have to do another halfway point. Okay, I think that's all the farther we're going to take that for now. Um, what I want to do now is get power ran back out there so we can get the coal flowing. So let me think about how I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I'd like to see if I could run the power along the side of the platform. Um, so to do that, we're going to need to tap into here probably with a double insulator so let's go let's go there and we're going to attach you to there and you to here and take out the other wire which is this one here so we don't disrupt our power okay let's go out here and we're going to here, let's get out here and i'm going to remove this for a second too okay so we're going to grab this and we're going to put it the socket right right there I had to think about that one for just a moment. Okay, put that back there. Okay, now let's grab the... Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's grab this outlet and... No, sorry. Grab this. And we want to run it down as far as it will go before it's too far. Goes quite a ways down there, doesn't it? Okay, so now what we're going to do is build this platform out here. Hopefully not getting too close to the nasties. And put this right on the corner there. And then we're going to come over here. Grab it real quick and hook it up. Hook it up and then run. <laughs> Let's get under here. Oh, you think you're going to come that way and get me, are you? Okay, so uh, I see a green light. Oh, shit. Uh, I see a green light on the miner, so it should be pushing coal out to us here pretty soon. Let's run away from those guys. That is a long way down. Yes, indeed it is. Okay. So we should see coal moving along our line here any moment. Yep, I see it coming in. All right, cool. So one thing I've been thinking about is 
you know, we're running these, I guess you'd call them sky bridges. And they have no supports. And I don't know, kind of, that kind of irritates my sensibilities a little bit, you know? Wait a minute. Did I see coal coming in or not? Yeah. It's coming. It's just taking a while. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe going along and putting some support pillars down. I'm not going to do that right now, though. But it's just something. It would be an off-camera thing, too, if I did it at all. But it's just something I've been thinking about. All right, you guys. Well, this episode's gone, like, enormously long. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to even edit it, <laughs> but I'll figure something out. Um, but we got a lot accomplished. So the plan for uh, the next step. Ooh, look what's up there. The plan for the next episode is going to be to get uh, to get the sulfur going so we can start making black powder. And um, But you know what I think we're going to do real quick? is we're going to do this. There might be something bad up here, but I am almost out of berries. Yeah, there's poison guys up here. Shit. Oh, yeah, there's lots of badness up here. Okay, time to leave. <laughs> Run away. Yeah, we might have to wait until we have a little more firepower before we go tackle what's up there um yeah all right so it's going to take 578,000 years for the coal to get over here <laughs> uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a uh, a conveyor line from the two sulfur nodes down there should we do it should we do it i think we should do it Woohoo! um yeah so from the two sulfur nodes down here up to our factory and then when the coal gets here um we can set up a an easy an easy uh, gunpowder or black powder factory and start making that so then we can start blowing stuff up because you know blowing stuff's up important let's go down here and grab this uh, we better not i don't have enough health stuff i don't have enough health stuff for that right now I gotta come back down here and pick some more bacon plants. We need some of it for, for research, anyways. Uh, but I do want to take a look and see what um, what these are. Okay, that's an impure, and what is this? This is a normal. Okay, so that's what's going on with those. Okay, look at that thing, man. That is way up there. <laughs> I love this game so much. I just love this game so much. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. And in the next episode, we'll get the gunpowder going. And uh, that shouldn't take very long. And then we'll figure out something else. We, we need to start getting steel going. Uh, but we'll also look at some, you know, milestones that we need and maybe some more research, too. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Isn't my factory so beautiful? Uh, the, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be there. I forgot to take those back down. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. It is a beautiful factory, though.